what's up my creators how are you i want to show you something that i think you will really really like this is joy from the joy art club if you're already a subscriber thank you for coming back if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you won't miss out on any really cool designs and tutorials okay so let's get started i'm going to go over to canva.com we're already here if you don't have a canva account it is free to um, create one you can either get the pro subscription or you can get the free subscription i have the pro subscription because i just find that there are so many more elements and tools and apps that you can use when you have the pro subscription so while we're in canva.com we're going to choose create a design and we are going to make a design for a tumbler this is a regular 20 ounce ounce tumbler and this is something that is very popular on etsy and other places you can sell these these are wonderful print on demand items so you might want to learn how to do those it is easier than you think so let's get started so once we clicked on create a design we want to choose custom size now those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that we have to change the DPI from 96 to minimally 150 for Printful. Normally I change the DPI to 300. The DPI is just the resolution and that just ensures that your design is crisp and clear on your item. So when you're selling these items, the cleaner and the crisper they are, it makes customers want to come back because they know that your designs are really um, sharp and not blurred out. So for a tumbler, the average size is 9.3 inches wide by 8.2 inches high. So we're going to make it a little bigger because we have to change the resolution. We have to make the image uh very clear as a 300 dpi so we're going to add on so if normally the width of the tumbler would be 9.3 and we got to make sure that our units is in inches and that's already selected you can select your unit by clicking on the down arrow and making sure that the unit that you want is selected in this case we're working with inches so normally our tumbler design would be 9.3 inches wide by 8.2 inches high. So what we want to do, we want to make this, since this design will come out to be 96 DPI, that's the resolution. Canva's uh, downloads are just, they're only 96 DPI because they're really meant for um, like digital images. So if you have an image and it's 96 DPI, it looks great on a computer. So for instance, what you're looking at right now on a computer, on your phone, on a screen, on a tablet, those images can be 96 DP DPI and they look very clear. No problem at all. But if you take those same images, enlarge them and put them on a print on demand item, at 96 dpi it will not look right at all it's going to look very fuzzy and blurry and most um print on demand sites won't even let you upload anything that's less than usually at least 150 dpi so in order to make this um 150 dpi we have to at least try to double the size so instead of the width being 9.3 we're going to double this in size and make this 18.6 and we're going to do the same thing to the height we're going to double this so 8.2 becomes 16.4 we're going to create this the design and the reason that we make it larger is because 
once we um, increase the resolution from 96 to 300, it's something's got to be compensated for. So instead of it being um, 96 DP, DPI, we're making it 300, but the size is going to shrink down. So we have to make it larger so that when the DPI goes up, the file size will go down to what we actually want. Does that make sense? Okay, I jumped over to Etsy.com because I wanted to show you one of my favorite um, Tumblr stores. And she's got some beautiful tumblers on here. So we're gonna make something really pretty, just as pretty as these. And since Halloween is coming up, maybe we'll make something that's um a little frightful and you know cute and scary at the same time. So let's get started. All right, so we're back over to canva.com and let's just kind of play around. So the one thing about design is that it affords you the um the ability to kind of play around, see what things that are already available for you to use and to improve upon those. You don't have to start from scratch. You can, but you don't have to. So let's just type in Halloween. Okay, so we can use any of these for background and we can build upon it. Or if you just like it as it is, you could keep it as you see it. So let's find something cute and spooky. Okay, guys, I don't really see anything that really grabs my attention here. You might find something that you like, but I don't really find anything. So I am going to go to a folder of mine um, that I created. And these are some, desi some designs that I've um, uploaded. I've purchased from different places. I don't even know where. Um, some things I've gotten from people on Etsy. I've gotten from Creative Market. I've gotten from um, creator Fabrica, different places. So, um, I like this one here, spooky vibes. So I want to make sure that this is a transparent background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the workspace and I'm going to make this workspace a color. And if the color shines through, then I know that this spooky vibes PNG is definitely transparent and it is. So now I'm going to click back on the workspace and I am going to hit the delete key and that takes away that background. So now we're going to work with spooky vibes. So let's find a really cool background. I'm going to go over to photos on the left hand side and I'm going to type in um, purple glitter. Let's see what comes up with that. Okay, we have a lot of nice uh, elements here, a lot of nice photos here. So let me just select one and then we will move on from there. Okay, I think I like this one. So I'm going to select this one by just um, hovering my mouse over it and clicking my mouse and it will pop it over onto the workspace. I want want to now make this my background. So I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to choose set image as background. So now that becomes my background. So it's kind of cool. It looks like it's some purple rocks or something down at the bottom. Now you can also, sometimes you can edit your images. You can make them brighter or something or darker if you want. So let's see if this will allow us to do that. I, I want to make the spooky vibes just a little lighter, just a pinch. So I am now going to adjust it just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So that is perfect. So now I'm going to click back onto my workspace and we're going to add some other little things on here let's go to the elements tab um i'm going to type in gold glitter let's see what we have under graphics i'm going to choose select all and let's see what we can kind of play with 
Yeah, I like that. We can, you can add anything that you like, anything that grabs your attention, you can add. So I want to duplicate this. I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to duplicate this and I am going to flip it. So I'm going to choose that option and I'm going to flip it horizontally and I'm going to move it over a little bit and I'm going to duplicate it one more time. I'm going to put it kind of towards the middle. I am going to flip it vertically and then I'm going to rotate it some. Okay. So now we have our, um, our cute little Halloween tumbler design. Okay. So we're going to keep this short and sweet. So we, we are satisfied with this. It looks good. And now what we have to do is download this design. We're going to go to share. We are going to download and we are going to download it as a PNG. So let's click download. Now, while this is downloading, I want to remind you of something. Don't forget. Remember I told you at the beginning, we've got to change the resolution. So that is a uh, process that I've already gone over, but what I'm going to do in the pinned comment, I am going to paste the link for that video. So make sure you watch that video because it will show you in detail how to change the resolution from 96 to 300 DPI. Very important step. You do not want to skip that skip step. All right, creators. So we are still on printful.com and now we're going to upload our newly um created 300 dpi resolution file that we um just created so it is uploading you see that it says to the right of to the left over here print quality good 311 dpi so let's kind of stretch it out a little bit so that it fits completely across our tumbler. And now we're going to click on mockups so that you can see the final product. All right, here's our final product looking beautiful. This shows one side of it. There's another side and here is the third side. So you can see how it looks and we've got some um a model here holding it showing the different sides of it so again this is something that you can easily design in canva and you can use these on your um print on demand store that you can create on etsy or shopify or wherever you may decide that you want to do them but nevertheless we went from this cute design to putting it onto Printful and showing you how it will look if you decided to do this for yourself. So guys, I hope you learned something new. Please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video, but make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you, you know, ask me any questions and I will try to help you along the way. In the meantime, have a creative, creative day and I'll see you in the next video. Love and peace.